This is part three of my Dawn Guard Assassin Archer Let's Play. Um, still set to master, still on the quest. Um, find out what the vampires are seeking, and I'm picking up exactly where the uh, last episode left off. Still in this same dungeon. So I can see through there, and there's one guy there. So I'll pick up these mushrooms. I think I'm running a little bit short on stuff to make enchanting potions. Pretty sure that's enchanting or it might be um, smithing. So we've got one guy there in front of us. Um, he's got his back to me. So I'll see if I can actually backstab him. That was quite easy. I should have probably checked the corner there before I came in to backstab him, but I didn't, which is um, probably wrong. So this is uh, still continuing on from where the last episode left off. I've still got that uh, crossbow equipped, and I'm starting to light the crossbow. It's um, it's sort of like using a um, a Daedric bow to a certain extent. So what do we got here? We got a switch. And then are they going to be a trap? No, they're not. So the two guys talking. Well, that just closes that gate in front of me. I need to go in there. So I'll open that back up and see what these guys are talking about. So I can see one, two, three down there. There's a gap here. So let's go down there and have a look. There's a gargoyle. First one. Is he going to come to life? Oh, no. So it looks like they've killed the Vigilant of Stendar here, and he's left the journal behind, so I'll pick that up in case I need it. Notes on the crypt, I'll take that with me. Well, that's the Vigilant the guy was talking about at the, the very start of this uh, Dawn Guard. So I've got a couple there um, that I can see, so I think I'll go back to the crossbow. I've got room behind me to retreat back up to the top there and maybe if they follow me drop off the edge and double around behind them. So I'm just going to take a shot on one of these guys um, and see what happens, see how strong they are. So they should come to the to the bow eventually. So I'll run around there. I'm a fair way away so they probably don't know where the shots come from. So I'll see if I can get him in in view of me so I can get a shot on one of them and then I'm gonna have to retreat I'd say. Yeah I'll get a shot now. And I'll retreat because that guy's coming and I've forgotten where I'm retreating to. <coughs> so where is this guy? He's there, I'll get a shot straight on him. So that seems to be done. Let's go down here and have a look what they were doing. So we've got some puzzle thing by the look of it here. And a switch. Is it going to be a trap or what? I don't know, but I'll go up here and see what's up here before I go any further. So we've got a gargoyle thing there. A ramp up this way. So there doesn't seem to be much around me. I'll go and play with that. It looks like it's some kind of um, some kind of puzzle we've got to solve here. 
And it was a trap, I've got my hand spiked. <laughs> so now what do we got to do? So that didn't seem to be have done anything. Um, we still got a quest marker on that, so... Okay. I wonder if... Okay, so you can move these things. So I'm guessing we move these around and make a pattern. Okay, so that one's there. Where do we move it to? Move it into the light? Oh, this is an easy puzzle. You just keep moving these to complete the pattern by the look of it. So I guess this one we move it to the end of the light again. So something changed. Whoa. Activate the stone. Alright, we'll activate the stone. So we've completed a quest. Speak to the mysterious woman. Uh, Barris, who sent you here? <coughs> who sent me here? Um, a man named Isran. I don't know who that is. Is he like me? What do you mean? Can't you tell just from looking at me? Yeah. A vampire. Oh. Not fond of vampires, are they? Well, look. Kill me, you've killed one vampire. But if people are after me, there's something bigger going on. I can help you find out what that is. Hmm. Do I trust her or not? I guess... As long as you don't get in my way. I was going to say the same thing to you. My family used to live on an island to the west of Solitude. I would guess they still do. By the way, my name is Serana. Good to meet you. So we've started a new quest. Okay. Um, well, I know it's an Elder Scroll. I can trade things with her? Not going to happen. Oh, okay. Any idea how we get the out of here? As as mine. This place looks pretty different from when I was locked away. All right. Enough talking to her. Let's find. We've got a new quest marker come up, so let's follow the quest marker. So it's up here. Whoa. Okay, this is the first time. Mr. Gazgoyle has to fight a Gazgoyle, or a Gargoyle. I think this crossbow is a bit overpowered. Come to there. So that's pretty much just try and get the second enemy before he wakes up and comes to where I shot from to actually go where I want him. Um, this crossbow is loading a bit slower, so I'm actually um, using throw voice with it more than... I probably would with a bow equipped. Wow, they have some good stuff. Ebony ore garnets, or flawless garnet, or whatever it was. So our quest mark is up here, and now great, I've got a follower of some kind. Go away, I should have actually told her to go away. But then I don't know where that leaves the storyline, so. Quest mark is up here somewhere. There's a door. Okay. So 
So don't forget to use third person to peek round corners. It's um, it's such an advantage. Okay, we've come into a room. What are we going to have in here? Is that blister wart? Yep. Nothing here by the look of it. Follow the quest marker then. We come to a door which won't open. Now it's a bit dark here, so I'll go to that. There's got to be a switch somewhere. There's a switch there. And there's coffins. So something's going to come out of there, I'm tipping. There's a chest down there. So I'm going to flick the switch. And I reckon I'm going to drop off this edge and see what happens. Yep. Shit comes out. take all that. What have we got there? A spell tome. A new spell tome. So we'll take that and I need to... So we've got a whole pile of skeletons. I reckon Who's there? Well, I'm going to change weapons quickly. And I'm actually going to go back to the longbow. <coughs> Let's see what we got here. Okay. Oh, she goes hard. I'm not going to have to kill anything. She's going to do it for me. Okay. There's some kind of Draga. So I'm going to go back over to this edge where I can drop off again. And I'm going to put a shot on the Draga and see what happens. He looks like the stronger one. Um, he has more armor on, so I'll hit him first. And he's just a Death Lord, so he'll be three shots with this bow. Two shots and one there. So that's that down. She's good. If you've got to have a follower, I hate having a follower. So I wonder if these guys might have ebony stuff. No, just take the arrows and gold. And what do you got? An ebony war axe. I'll take that to sell. I'll take the gold and the arrow. A chest. With nothing in it. Don't want that hunting bow. Alright, let's get out of here. So that door should be open from the switch it is. I'm glad uh, putting this candle light up doesn't actually attract enemies. Oh, we've still got to fight our way out of here by the look of this. So I'm going to go back to the longbow. Yeah, there's a guy there. Does the air feel heavy down here? I actually, I didn't go back to the longbow. I went to the crossbow. Wow. Done and done. done and done. That's one of my favourite expressions. So I still haven't got a handle on these two more enemies. There's one there. See, this girl I've got with me seems to have a fair bit of sneak because um, 
We're not getting detected here. Done and done. So I might have to get another one of these crossbows and make a, a weaker version because this seems to be quite strong. So quest markers up this way. A word wall and she's fighting someone. No, she's just unsheathed a weapon, that's all. There's one coming behind here. A death lord. So I should get three. Oh, he's very strong and he's going to shout. He's following her. She's not as sneaky as I thought. Wow, this guy is strong. A miss. He has gonna sh So he's not detecting me, he's um, just detecting her. Done and done, I like this girl. I hadn't actually used that expression for a while, but I used to use it all the time. Okay, let's go and see this word wall. So we've got stamina drain vitality. And we got a door here. Is that the door out? Let me out of this freaking dungeon. Come on. And that's the way out. So I'll actually leave this one here and we'll uh, pick this up in the next episode. So once again, guys, tell me how long you want these to be. I can actually upload uh, longer gameplay now than I've been doing with the 10 to 15 minute episodes. I've just changed the way I do things a bit. So up to you what you want to see and how you want to see it done. Uh, if you want me to just go back to uh, Let's Kill and forget these this, this Let's way, Play. Than a cave. Shut up, girl, I'm talking. Um, just let me know.